Improvised music, you know, really, I, I connect with it faster than any other genre. I set up a telepathy with the people that are playing. If I'm listening, you know, I'm really trying to connect with this telepathy. Where are they going? Where are they taking this line? Who's that doing that? And before you know it, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing this other music. It's a collective art. I mean, I rarely get to play by myself like this, you know? And the experience of playing like that for me is always playing with friends and playing with, you know? So there's a, there's a confidence and there's, and I'm, I'm, I'm also hearing them when I'm there. My imagination is going haywire with, you know, there was one thing I hit there where I was playing with Paul Motion. He was with me. He was playing with me. There was this little thing, this little, I found this kind of folk melody and he was just chugging along with me, you know, and, and it's that kind of experience. We're always playing with people. And I think that's what improvisation is to me. When you're in that, you know, I call it it. <laughs> and uh, I think everybody has different ways of, of preparing for that. You know, all my friends, you know, constant conversation about how to get to it. And everybody has different routines, different, you know, regimes or, but just, opening up to, to what's happening here, the sounds outside, the traffic, you, you can kind of tell the pace of how that's moving. 
this myself. It creates an image for me to also use, you know, to get, to reach for that. And what I'm reaching for is, is to get out of what I call grips, what I call things that are habits or things that are not improvised. They're things that I always grab on the saxophone, things that I gravitate to. So using that kind of a counterpoint from the environment, you know, really sets me up in, in to, to, to get closer to it. One of my favorite things to do is, is come home from a gig, grab a beer from the fridge and sit in the backyard. And the night birds, what's going on at night with birds is unbelievable. Especially city birds. <laughs> I mean, the, the dynamics, the, uh, the way, the way they, they, they'll throw out a call and, and just wait. And sometimes the next response is a minute and a half, two minutes, and somebody two blocks on will chirp, and then he'll do it again, and he'll wait. And just that kind of spatial sense has really made me rethink about sound. Oh. Uh -huh. 